Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I have a pretty sad video and a pretty sad announcement if I'm honest. As you can probably tell by the title, Badger the Guinea Pig sadly passed away. She passed away a while ago now, she passed on the 21st of November and we're now basically in January so it's been a good month and a half, near enough two months. But I just really haven't been wanting to make this video and get a not let you guys know just because it's been pretty sad and her death was very sudden and quite a shock. So I have kind of not been wanting to come on here and talk about it. I did mention it on TikTok, so if you follow me on TikTok, you'll probably already know. But yeah. So yeah, as I said, her death was very sudden and quite a shock, really. Obviously, I didn't expect it. And yeah, it just really came by surprise. One night, I went into the shed. I checked them all during the day and they were absolutely fine. And then at night, I went in and she wasn't looking great. She usually runs around and she'll run to me as soon as I come in. But she was just sitting in the middle of the shed floor. And that's when suddenly I knew something was wrong and I had to check on her. So I picked her up and I could tell straight away that she wasn't right. She wasn't walking properly. It kind of looked, her leg was kind of sticking out. She just didn't look great. And when she was walking, she had a little wobble. So I immediately picked her up, brought up the house and we checked on her. And then quickly she just kind of went downhill kind of thing. She was, when I first brought her up, she was walking. She was okay. She was stumbling. And within like 10 minutes, it all just changed. She basically couldn't walk. Yeah, it was all just a big shock really. And sudden, she was walking, she was stumbling. And then it all just changed and she died within like an hour. So this all happened very late at night and it was all just so quick. And she just went downhill so fast. Sadly, we couldn't get her to the vet or anything like that because it was so quick. And there was basically nothing they could do because as soon as I got to her and saw her, she was really downhill and there was basically, I could tell straight away what was going to happen as soon as I saw her, um, yeah, which was very sad, but that's just kind of the truth, and as I saw her and found her, I could kind of see where the night was going to go and what was going to happen with her. I'm saying an hour, but I feel as though probably it was more of like a half an hour, because as soon as I picked her up, brought her up the house, she basically died, and that's kind of what happened. I'm glad that obviously I still got to her and she got to spend her last like time with me instead of lying in the shed but yeah so I'm happy I got to spend the last time with her and she died beside me which is kind of morbid but it's kind of nice that she wasn't just alone. She had the other guinea pigs but it was nice that I was with her and she had my company I guess because we were very close. She was kind of a really different guinea pig than most of my guinea pigs. She really loved to come to me. She loved getting picked up. She loved getting pet and she loved just sitting in my arms and things like that. And that's why I think her death has been very sad. Just because a lot of the time I didn't even look at her as a guinea pig. She kind of just became a friend kind of thing. When I would go down, she was always waiting on me. She loved to just come up. Um, it was really cute because I think she definitely liked my company more than she liked other guinea pigs. Because when it comes to the other guinea pigs, I don't really think she was that close to them, if I'm honest. She was always kind of the left one out, and she would always just be kind of on her own, running around. And she definitely preferred me to the other guinea pigs. The other guinea pigs are all doing fine, if I'm honest. I don't think they've even noticed Badger's passed away, which is really sad, actually. But they've just kind of moved on, and I think it's because she wasn't such a big part of the herd. I think if it was someone like Blossom, who's the boss, I think we'd have a different story where all the guinea pigs would be pretty like different but because Badger really wasn't a huge part of them they kind of just forgot her which is pretty sad actually and I also always do health checks and things on her and she had nothing wrong with her nothing that I could see or anything like that so honestly I am very confused at what's happened we've took the other guinea pigs to the vet they're fine and I should probably say that yeah the other guinea pigs have been took to the vet they were all fine so I'm really unsure what's happened with her yeah I don't know but I mean, sometimes this happens, sometimes your pet just randomly passes away for no real reason. But obviously, there is a reason, but you know what I mean, sometimes they just pass before their time and they go too soon, which obviously has happened with Badger, which is annoying because obviously I wish I knew and I wish I'd caught whatever it was and saw it and fixed her and... But yeah, that's not the case. So I think I'm probably going to end the video here because that's probably enough of me talking about this. As I said, if you have any questions, you can ask down below. I was going to say I hope you all enjoyed the video, but I don't really think it's a video that anyone's going to enjoy. So, yeah. Bye, guys.